following segment is sponsored by Uplift Families. In this digital age, many things have become easier, but our desire for effortless and fast solutions can make life more difficult at times when things don't go our way. Peter Clegg is here to share the importance of resilience and how we can teach it to our kids. Peter, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks, Delora, for having me. I'm happy to be here. So being a kid can sometimes be really hard. What kind of new challenges are our kids facing that may make resilience a bit harder to develop? You know, we're in a very digital age right now, right? There's lots of technological advancements mm -hmm. that really we have apps that are just for about anything anymore. Right. And so we have all this at our fingertips. And so things that once felt were difficult for uh -huh. generations before us are becoming to feel really difficult. Okay. And, and so it's like lowering the bar almost where it's mm -hmm. just that what was once difficult or is now easy. And so life just feels harder now. So what can parents do to help teach their kids resilience? So one of the first things that I would recommend is being aware of how we're modeling behavior to okay. our kids, right? So, you know, if we're uh, facing some type of obstacle or challenge in life, mm -hmm. are we shifting blame? Are we making up excuses for why it's not our fault? You know, it's really important for our kids to be watching what we're doing we learned how to talk and uh -huh. to walk and do all sorts of things because we watched our parents and those that were around us. Kids are keen observers. They're going to be watching these types mm -hmm. of things. All right. So you talked a little bit about modeling behavior. How do we do that? Is it just staying, you know, cognizant of how we're acting? What are some tips you have when it comes to that? So for modeling behavior, you know, that it's, it's all about developing skills, right? Mm -hmm. Letting your kids see what types of skills that it takes to be resilient, to bounce mm -hmm. back, and in the moment when things are hard, what types of skills do, you, do I have that I can show my kid that is going to make them see what it takes to become successful? Even if things don't turn out the way exactly that we were hoping for, mm -hmm. it's that bounce back, right? Mm -hmm. How do we respond to that bounce back? All right. And so we talked about resilience. How can a parent teach their child to embrace hard work? Because it's not easy. It's called hard work for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, and, and even more so now that, that when things just feel so effortless with a lot of other types of things, it kind of devalues effort, uh -huh. right? So uh, really we want to embrace that hard work, right? We want to make sure that everybody has a job to do in the home mm -hmm. that, you know, and if, if you know, my seven-year-old's going to have a different skill ability than my three-year-old. Right. But there's always something that we can do to contribute. Family means that everybody participates and that mm -hmm. everybody has something to give back. Love it. These have been amazing tips. Peter, where can we go for more information? Upliftfamilies.org. There's a family resource uh, guide there where you can find all sorts of topics just there like this. Go. Perfect. Well, Peter, again, thank you so much for being with us today. It's such an important topic. Thank you.